Hello and welcome back to Starfield. The room is loud. Is it air conditioning? And are you going to follow me? Why is it so loud in this building? I don't know. Anyways, uh, looks like Walter has something for me to do. It is strangely loud in here. I hope you are satisfied uh. with the quarters available to you. You don't have to ask me every single time I come past you, okay? As you walk slowly past me and then look at me. Andreja. I am <laughs> at your service, Captain. Thanks. Andreja just stares at me. Okay, Walter. What do you want? I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. A soiree? Ask I ask you to remind me about something. Hold on. What was it? Specify the time frame. What Listen, is he saying? In the past month, maybe? There are 58 items <laughs> on the reminder list. Oh, really? Starting from the top. Wait. Um, just the most recent thing, then. The most recent request was to remind you that you should cut back on spicy food. Okay. You said this while you were <laughs> eating an entire tray of spicy chunks. Spicy so chunks. I was instructed to remind you before the next time. Okay. Mm, yeah. All right. I mean, no, not that one. What did I say before that one? <sighs> you said, remember to check. I do have other things that require my attention. Yeah, but oh, they're yeah. conversation. No, no, that okay, Soiree, well. just what are you up to? A business meeting, of a sort at least. You showed me okay. a picture of a planet with multiple trajectories. I'm interested, let's hear it. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Purchase? Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. Oh. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. This place, Neon, is it dangerous? Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking uh, advantage of that. Okay. I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Oh, great. Thanks, Armin Chimmerman. As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. Right. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Okay. Not now, I'll get back Keeping to you. Keeping me waiting. Mm. No. No, I just need Very to make well. sure I've got med packs. Because I have a feel- Whoa. What was that, Mateo? What kind of dance was that? That was weird. Okay, I- Look, look. I just want to check something. Oh, my health status. Okay. Mmm, aid. How many med packs do I have? It's important. I've got eight. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a V. Let's go B. Ship weapons cost more to fire while in targeting mode. Hypothermia. I still have hypothermia. Prognosis is excellent. Hmm... Combat. I've killed 79 people. Five creatures, two robots, three turrets, eight elite enemies, 36 critical strikes. Oh, no zero G. Boost packs exploded eight. Oh, ho, ho. Max damage shot 82. Scoped kills 15. Well, what do you know? Favorite weapon, Eon. Favorite power, anti grav field. Well, it's uh, all, all I've done. Have I done any crime? I've locked three picks. That's it. Let's see. Ship, grav jumps. 
Exploration 9 visited. Well, okay. Well, I think maybe I'm okay. Why are you sitting there? All right, Walter, let's go. Change your mind? Up for some business dealings on Neon? I just need to check something. I'm ready to go. Let's go. The Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Uh huh. I'm sure you are. The Volai system. Travel to Neon. Okay. Well, let's do this. All the money you can buy. Gotta travel to Neon. Let's set course. Altair? I thought we were going to Volai. What? No, no, no. Hold on. We're going to Neon. It said Volai, right? There we go. Okay. Unexplored route. It looks like we have to go there first. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's go here. Olympus? Wait, 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 wait. Which one were we supposed to go be going through? Uh. Hold on. Okay, this is this is weird. <laughs> um excuse me. While I try to figure out what the heck I'm doing here. Okay, travel to Neon. Of course. Set course. And, yeah, so I need to, first of all, go... Hold on. Can I spin? Can I not spin? All right, Arane, Olympus. Yeah, we're going there. Let's go. Is that first? Okay. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Of course it is. Oh, does this mean I have to? There we go. Okay. Wait. Aren't we going there? Yes, let's travel in Neon, please. Oh, God. Oh, we already made it to Olympus. Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> let's... I will never get tired of that. This is Restar Collective Space. All while we scan your ship. Uh-huh. Yeah. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Thank you. Okay, well, let's uh, find out where this planet is. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We're here. Okay. Acquire the power in Voli Epsilon. Neon, let's land. So, I am guessing that this is going to be an interesting place. Money speaks here, so uh, Walter is very, very rich. I expect that he's going to do a lot of help here. Money talks. Oh, wow. What kind of place is this? Okay. 
Do I need a spacesuit? Can I help? How have you been? I'm fine. Wait. Walter. Walter, where are you? Where are you, Walter? Where'd you go, Walter? Where is Walter? Anything I can do for you? Yeah, um, where's Walter? Thought he was coming on the ship with us. Where's Walter? Don't tell me you're in the bathroom. Nope. Okay then. I hope I can breathe here. Walter? Um. Oh, there's Walter. How did you get over here? Why weren't you in the ship with me, huh? The effort to make this place Smell livable that? is destruction. Down incense. Industrial no chemicals and what can be accomplished when but they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Oh, <laughs> chasm bass? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. Ah. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Fishy drugs, huh? People are getting high off fish? Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Let's get going. I need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. All right, let's go to Stroud Eklund. How do we get in? This way? Oh, wow. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, really? I'm trying to fight now. Okay, I meant to do this. <laughs> Photo mode. Look. All I want to do is take a look at this thing. Welcome to Neon. Wow. This thing is massive. So this is on an ocean, I'm guessing. At least that's what I'd, I'd guess. Okay. Let's take this photo. Let's go. Let's not fall down either. I don't want to go swimming. There's got to be a way back up if you do fall down, huh? Wow. So oceany. Very wet. Security? cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than the effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no Whoa. end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Just to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Okay. I'm not gonna go talk with Clover. Don't move, Nessa! What was this about? Um... Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run, and we open fire. This is interesting. So, we supposed to do something here? Hi. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Kiel City or New Atlantis? No! No, I just forgot I was carrying it. It's so, Charles Money. Honest mistake, right? Can, can we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. <laughs> That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, wow. shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Move along. Interesting place. Speak to Nashar in jail. I'm not going to jail. But I will go up. A cup of coffee right about now. Let's go. Guess he's riding with us, huh? Alright. We're here. Andreja, hello, you're here. Okay. Reliant Medical. Um, Look at this place. Instant sensory overload. If you are free soon. 
What? So I'm free soon. Wait, what? We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. That temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Hell if I know. Uh, the whole thing made me uncomfortable from the jump. Uh, sure didn't look like any culture I've ever seen or heard of, that's for sure. Nor I. Nor, I suspect, anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? <laughs> I'm putting my credits on magic pixies. Uh, there's no way humans are responsible for that. Um, I didn't see a visitor center or pick up a brochure, if that's what you're asking. Maybe there are people out there we've just never met. We shouldn't take wild guesses. If we keep going, we'll find out for sure. Yeah. You sound just like Sarah. I see why she invited you to join Constellation. You are right, of course. We'll learn in time. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? Just some lingering hypothermia. I hadn't thought about it, but now you've got me worried. Um, you mean besides the fantastic new power I now have? No, I'm good. Yes, I meant apart from that. I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've only gotten this far by working together. Yes, you are right. And Andreja if we continue that. to work together, perhaps we can start to explain some of this. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we do need to go, and I, have, I bet uh, Walter's already there. Probably. I'm assuming that... Oh, come on. I just, I wanted to take... I used to be an actuary. Look at this. I wanted to take a picture. Photo mode, please. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. This is, this is a wild place, isn't it? Which side has better image? Kind of like this. Let's do this. And photo. Here, let's get going, huh? Noisy. I'm not causing any trouble. Starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a slightly inflated view of himself. Probably. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall yeah. we follow the signs? All right, Astral Lounge. We want to go here. Oh. Potter is very proud of his business, and he should be. His ships are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You go in first. Walter. Issa. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. 
large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Uh, charmed, Ms. Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, <laughs> wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the poet mm -hmm. that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. <laughs> <laughs> I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. No, I'm I'm not going to say that. Oh, what's this about a speech? Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. <laughs> Walter, were you a fan? I merely found a group of like-minded individuals. Just like all of us. I have not been part of Constellation as long as some, but from what I have seen, I would not call that an inaccurate description. Uh -huh. Can we move on? <laughs> uh, yeah. About our business here. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Uh -huh. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Uh. <laughs> Is this how you two work, sniping at each other? Oh. Just some light sparring, dear. Walter's actually very... attentive. When it's just the two of us. When you mix business and family, you learn to compartmentalize. <laughs> uh, I also send my love with freelance operatives. Uh, so our meeting is in the Astro Lounge. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. Hmm. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Mm -hmm. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Investigate the cellar. Case the Astral Lounge. Got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. So they're married. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. Okay. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Oh, really? Okay. Let's go. No clue what's going on now. Coming? You coming? Yes, please, come in here. Astro Lounge. Well, I'm guessing we're going to the lobby. What kind of negotiations? Back out again. Um, oops, I'm walking into things. Devin and Astis has run into some trouble. Words of advice. You don't want a piece of that. <laughs> uh. Wait, I don't want to talk to Devin and Astis. Wait. 
Where is that pointing? Why is it pointing over there? Oh, there's the Astro Lounge. Uh, hold on. I just want to make sure. Okay, I'm I'm guessing that uh Uh-huh. Investigate the cellar. Ever run into spacers? Scumbags and scumbags. Yeah, I have. Well then. I gotta check on security afterwards, and oh boy, is this ever blue. Yep. What the heck? <laughs> I gotta look at this. Oh, this is weird. Interesting. Okay. What the heck are you wearing? So I need to go up there. You good? Hi. Are we fun? Yeah. Lots of fun. Mickey Caviar. Nice name. Wait. I can't reach you. You're too far away. Hello. Yes, you're looking at me. Hi. Now you're new here, aren't you? Never been here. Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Now. I prefer alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. <laughs> Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Um... Oh, okay. I have a meeting here later. Worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Really? Uh... Say I needed control of the doors. Prevent someone from walking out. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. Mm -hmm. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Got it. Where exactly would a secure meeting take place? Private meetings are usually held in the floor above. Just to use the elevators. Oh. Say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. VIP package. The fee seems a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Three turns to get four. <laughs> okay, surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. You lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by the Astral Lounge every chance I get. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Promises make for poor currency. Yeah. I'm sure we could work something out. This isn't getting us anywhere. I'm afraid we can't budge on the price. Yeah. The VIP package All isn't right. for everyone. I've got the money. I'd love to be Excellent. a VIP. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about Administrator Bayou? Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Ooh. Oh, he's a good man. 
It cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. Real humanitarian. Who created the music for this place? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Uh-huh. Okay. Hope to see you again. Yeah. Well. This place is insane! Okay. VIP elevator. And I need to go over there as well. Let me just check out this here. Oh, hello. Why are there so many things here? Oh, look at this. Oh, hello. Seems that I didn't really have to do much up here. Hold on. What? I'm not saying anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Security level novice. What? So I'm doing this now right okay so let's do it uh it's gonna have to be this one okay slot key and then well damn undo <laughs> Can't be this one. Mmm. Really? Ha. Huh. Hold on. This one. Nope. Undo. Wow. Uh huh. Okay. It's going to have to be this one. And then this one. Gee. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, this will work. Yes. A remote door control scheduling. Well, let's take a look at this. Booked by redacted. Okay, adding new remote door control override. Proved hand signal will allow use to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one time. All right. Let's see. Let's get out. I never had the patience for computer systems. Haha. <laughs> well. I don't know what I'm doing here. Bye bye. Let's go. Dance floor and then. We got one more thing to do.
Let's go see this. What's next? Over there. There's almost like some kind of uh, espionage. There's no fighting in this. And I'm worried that there will be fighting. Uh-oh. Sorry. I'm getting a little too tired. What? Is that you that said that? Okay, so over here. Not there. There is little question that Ryujin has some influence here. Ryujin. Aha. They even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison, and it needs to be taken off the streets. James, please. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Administrator Bayu. As long as he's in charge, the city will just get worse and worse. I've had enough, Rosa. Seagard's gone too far this time. Oh no, this again? James, you have um, to let it go. You're arguing in front go? of me? Why should I? Every time he pays NSEC, he enables them, Rosa. He's telling them it's okay to blackmail us. It's ridiculous! Mm-hmm. It is. It's the way things are, James. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> you're right. I just wish things would change in this city. Are you done? Can Poor I talk? James. He's been so out of sorts lately. Yeah, can I talk to you? Welcome though? to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. <laughs> Sieghart's, what's that? Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. Uh, let's see. Healthy competition is one of the cornerstones of owning a business. It sounds like you have a problem with Seagart's place. Oh, I don't have a problem with his place. My problem is Seagart himself. Ah. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. I see. Huh. What kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you keep your place safe? By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Hmm. Keeping his place safe sounds like smart business to me. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Hmm. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Hmm. Um, is all of Neon security corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They don't seem friendly. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. Hmm. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. What's the story with you and Rosa? I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. Hmm. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. 
Interesting how you tell me a lot of stuff. Love ever since. <laughs> um, you set up a meeting with Walter Strode recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. His credits say you did. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. Mm. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun, James. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Okay, then. Aurora is all your acting needs. So where am I looking for now? Over here? It's just over here. In here. Ebside. Just feels like I keep doing stuff. Hi. I need to get over there. Andresia, coming. Looks like we're outside right now. Oh my. Ugh. 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 <laughs> oh my god. In there. Let's go in there. Oh, come on. Wow. Can you just move over? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't get through here. Is this it? software to talk to the hardware. What if that malfunctions? Door unlocked yeah. requires... You know so, in here I need to... Wait a minute. Really? I only have four digipix. Okay, then. Oh, it's going to have to be these two then. Okay. And... These two. Okay. And then we've got... This. And this. I don't have any... You can't succeed any at that before we are discovered. Aha! Really? To Musgrove, uh, you might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in the, a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. To Musgrove, I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. For our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. All right, we gotta go to Walter. Let's let's go. Is there an easy way in? Oh, I could have come out this way. That would have been easier. Really? Okay then. Let's go. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. <sighs> yeah, well, this is our mission. Let's go. Hey, Stroud. Is everything ready? <sighs> I found out the seller is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? 
Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Alrighty then. I hope we can get this done in the next uh, few minutes. <laughs> Walter, you are slow. All right. Astro Lounge, here we come. Quit Wait, staring. this way. I'm not staring at you. Well, you can, I can feel that base. I wonder if it's the same song over and over again. All right. Walter. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. All right. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers. Scientists who discovered neon gas? Are they? <laughs> Here's the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay, then. Let's look around for this seller. Oh, well, there's no one up here. Duh. Briefcase person. Briefcase person. Hey, you wanna dance? Yeah. Hey there. Hey there. I'm not seeing anyone with the briefcase down here. Hell yeah! Although my guess is uh, they look a little awkward standing around. No one there. Gotta be somewhere. Hi there. Musgrove. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Sounds like it. Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. All right, let's talk to Walter. That wasn't difficult to find him. Walter. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. <sighs> she seems cagey to me, angry even. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Uh-huh. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. Certainly. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that <laughs> sound? Oh, sounds great. Uh, close the deal. Get the artifact. Uh, what if things get messy? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Oh, lovely. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Got it. Wonderful. Where's Andreja? It's over there. I know your type. The free wheel and space ace. Must be nice. <laughs> That's a space ass. Yeah. Alright, here we are. Oh, you're already in here. So you, Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. 
Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting? Making me nervous. I'll sit. No, no sense making anyone uncomfortable. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Then let's sit. It's probably a mistake. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? <sighs> Stop bluffing, we know you need to sell quickly. Oh really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in the fix and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? <laughs> I'll walk out of this booth right now. Don't be rash. We can still make this work. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now, what's it going to be? Uh, I... Uh, I might have wanted more, but this is still a good deal. Do the smart thing. Take the money. All right. You win. Hand over the money. This thing mm. is all yours. Success. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Yeah, head to... Home. Shall we? I think we are going to be in a bit of a... Uh, hold on. Let me equip weapon. Neon. Let's go. I have a feeling something's going to happen. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah... Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. <laughs> Security, we're being harassed. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Oh, yeah. So we need to just quite... We hope you've enjoyed your time in the Astral Lounge. Oh, yeah, it was very enjoyable. So enjoyable. What is what does it say here? Head to the entrance. Okay, you can't just uh, just fast track it out of here. No, oops, wrong room. Guess we might have to fight our way out. Ace, something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the space. Are you kidding me? There goes our way out. <sighs> Who's this Nicholas Slayton, anyways? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. So much for this being easy, Walter. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. 
Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make <laughs> an appointment. Oh, lovely. Well, this is going to be fun. Let's get out of here. Well, negotiations happened, but you know what? This is not going to be easy. All right. So, I think that's going to have to wait until next time. Oh, this is... I have a feeling this is going to get a bit crazy. So... Huh, thanks for watching. If you are interested in seeing the rest of this series, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And, of course, you can check out the playlist if you've missed any parts. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.